So it's been over a month since the derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. Now, people are living near the chemical disasters, are seeing all kinds of contamination and even across the state lines in the state of Pennsylvania. The Guardian did reporting on the effects of the small rural town next door to East Palestine, a Darling Township. And this is what their reporting says. The toxic cloud engulfed Darlington Township, a small rural community with 1,800 residents coating lawns, crops, and cars in black soot. Darling is a small rural community where hunting deer, fishing, and planting vegetable gardens are common activities for residents who rely on private water wells, which they, not regulators, must monitor for quality. And this is what one resident stated about the situation there. We wanted to get away even though we live outside the evacuation radius, but had nowhere to go. Over this way, we've not been told anything about the implications. It's very concerning. I have a seven month old daughter, so I'm doing everything I can to make sure she is safe. No one is coming to save us. So we have to stick up for ourselves. And that is coming from Patrick, a gentleman of Darling Township residents, residents sharing with us what the family is going through right now. And so for reference, we want to put up this map so that you can see the distance between each town. And as you can see, the, the little red or maroon is East Palestine. You see East Liverpool, Steubenville, all of that in Ohio. And as you cross over the line into Pennsylvania, you can see how close Darlington is actually to East Palestine. Now, sisters and brothers, family, friends, we know that air and water and soil, all of that stuff, they know no boundaries. So it would make a whole lot of common sense, even though my grandmother told me common sense ain't that common. It would make a whole lot of common sense for state regulators and federal regulators to trace a radius, to reach out to residents, like not just at the epicenter, but in and around that epicenter to see how they roll and how they feel and what is happening in their lives. We got to stay up on this because again, it was East Palestine, it could be somewhere else tomorrow. Now, North Fork Sutherland has, has uh, pleaded almost 12 mil, pledged almost 12 million to East Palestine, but that does not include Darlington at all, not at all. And take a look at this, Norfolk Southern, which reported 3 billion in profits last year, has committed 11.8 million to East Palestine and said it will review individual requests from those outside the township zip code. That's not good enough. I want all of you to know, we're going on record or unbossed to say that's not good enough. And that is why government needs to step in. So Professor, your thoughts about what is happening in East Palestine and other places, not just in Ohio, but all over the country. We just had a recent derailment in Springfield, Ohio, and derailments are happening happen all over all over this country. But this one is extra, extra sensitive because of the chemicals that that train was carrying. Uh, well, I think everything we're seeing is the result of our country and different policymakers uh, having more value for profits over people. Um, I think when we think about the way, I even think about when we're able to make an analysis and see how policy has made it work. Uh, different trail, uh, different railroad companies have been able to just fall back on regulation, fall back on cutting corners, and not having to pay extra money for it. You know, different. Uh, uh, what's the word we're looking for here? Different. You know, um, I have to get a word here. Different uh, inspections. This this is kind of what happened, I think. You know what I mean? And it's just the, the last thing I'll say. It's sad to recognize that people in the global north and one of the richest countries in the world are now dealing with some of the ugly impacts of things that we think that should always go on, or think that we think they always go on in the global uh, global south. Excuse me for me. My words just all over the place right now. No, that's okay. No, I, I know people are feeling what you are trying to say, and it is absolutely we are a hegemon nation. This shouldn't happen anywhere in the world, but especially a nation as wealthy as the United States of America. So it is my sincere hope that the people with the power, being the, the transportation secretary, the state of Ohio, all of this stuff, we really do need to get this stuff fixed right away. Zip codes shouldn't matter. Now the benefit, we I mean, we got to continue to look at this, but let's 
like East Palestine, people here are furious. They're furious because they're not getting any attention and they deserve to be furious. People are furious and they want Norfolk Sutherland to be held accountable. They should be held accountable. Norfolk Sutherland should bounce. But first and foremost, they want clear information and guidance on how best to protect themselves and their families from long term health complications. And that is not too much to ask. Now, another town, Steubenville, also shared these concerns. We're already dealing with as much pollution, and the black community is often the last to know about health risks. Everyone deserves clean water, soil, and air. The community garden is the only place some people can get fresh produce. Is East Palestine going to destroy what we're doing here? And that is coming from a Steuben, Steubenville resident, just basically saying, hey, what about us? And that question is vitally important. What about us? What about all the people who are being impacted from this both now and into the future?